Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. This is Terrifying Tuesday, where we talk about all things horror. And today, we're going to talk about a few more Christmas horror movies that you could watch this Christmas. So let's jump right into it. We live in a day and age where we have child's play. We have Annabelle. We have a number of movies about killer toys, killer dolls. But when it comes to Christmas, there is only one icon that you should truly be afraid of. This? Hold on, let me explain. So the newest fad in horror movies definitely seems to be killer elves on the shelf. And I thought for this, we would kind of talk about a few of these movies. Now, there's a lot of them that we could talk about. I found at least six or seven that you can find easily on streaming. So happy hunting when it comes to it. But we're going to be talking about a few of them. So... Number one on our list of these three movies we are going to talk about is The Elf from 2016. Nick is haunted by nightmares stemming from a tragic murder he saw when he was young. And now he has inherited an old toy shop. And what to his bewildering eyes should appear in this toy shop? But... An elf on a shelf. A toy elf. Not the elf on a shelf. In fact, these don't look anything like your traditional elves on a shelf. But it is definitely a play on that. And it doesn't take long for him to realize that this is in fact cursed by an ancient evil. It is sealed in an ancient chest which shouldn't be open. And of course it is. It starts to kind of walk around, starts to act like it's alive. And this is something that is truly terrifying within the movie, especially since this thing is not pretty. This thing is not a pretty little toy. Why anybody would want this thing in their house, I have no idea why. I mean, that versus something like this, I know which one I'm taking, right? Okay, so... That besides the point, it becomes this thing where he must now stop its murderous rampage. And the movie is okay. It's, it's nothing to write home about. It is truly sort of this lower budget movie, but it is a lot of fun to watch. They did spend some time on it. You can tell they knew where they wanted to go. And it does present its own terrifying moments. And we're going to talk about its sequel next. That's right. This movie from 2016 spawned a sequel. And that sequel, friends, was Elves. That's right. Elves from 2018. And this movie takes place after the events of that one, of course, but with a cat. Because a group of friends now discover this cursed chest. They open it, a reign of terror begins. But, wait a minute, there are more elves. More elves to actually go around and murder people. In this movie, they kind of up the ante, if you will, a little bit. They have decided that they are going to take the whole thing and mix it with this strange puppet master child's play Annabelle vibes but see they don't care whether you're good or bad these things are just homicidal little maniacs they are ready to attack so the movie becomes more about them being ready to attack and ready to kill and everything it is a good sequel to the first movie it does kind of respect what the first movie set up, which is always a good thing. And you could do worse than to watch those two this year. 
The third one we're going to talk about today is Killer Christmas Elves from 2021. And this movie is insane. And I mean that, I actually do mean that in a positive way because it is really low budget. It is very low budget. But the one thing they do get right is the elves almost legitimately look like this. And that's not all. The thing about this movie is that it treats itself like a comedy. It doesn't take itself all that serious. It knows what it is. And what it is, is a gremlins clone. That's right, elves on the shelf done in the way of gremlins. Essentially, this witch working at a toy factory making elves on a shelf curses the elves. Curses the elf toys. And because she does this, now they are alive. And they are mad. They are murderous. They are evil. And what makes it fun is that they have this kid in the movie who's Supposed to be a teenager, although I think he looks at least 25 to 30 years old easily. He is this sort of melancholy, moody kid who doesn't like his dad. Well, all of a sudden the killer toys start coming out. You know, these killer elves on a shelf. And they start going on a rampage. And of course, it's up to the father and the son to save the day. And what happens next is this really campy, low-budget, fun film that definitely pays homage to Gremlins. It, it brings those vibes almost instantaneously from the second you start to realize what's going on and you see all these elves running around doing different crazy things to the town. And... It's, it's fun. I can't really say that I didn't like this film. I did. But it is truly kind of one of those films where, yes, you could do a little bit worse than this film. As always, we want to know what you guys think. So go ahead and comment. Share this video with all of your friends so they can be a part of the conversation. Make sure you're hitting that like button. It's free. It helps the channel. Miko says we need more subscribers and you don't want to disappoint Miko. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell while you're down there so you don't miss a single video we do. And friends, at the end of the day, I know it. You know it. And Miko knows it. Fandom is family.